Hey Diva Lights, thought I'd come and say hello. I don't know about you, but I have been through, I've got a couple of necklaces on here, it's looking a bit weird, such a full on transition over the last sort of three, four days. And it felt pretty heavy a few days ago. And um, I'm just sending you lots of love if you're going through it, but I'm through it and probably still integrating a bit, but I'm feeling uh, really good, uh, really grounded, really calm. Uh, but there's a new level. Hey, Crystal, there's a new level. I'm also just, um, I've got these really cute new, do you see these? Chloe pants. I'm going to the shops. I'm very excited because I put a beautiful jacket on hold. Um, and I did feel a little bit guilty about buying it. It's quite expensive. <laughs> I had the money, but I actually put it on sort of hold and I was thinking, oh, do I want to get it? And I felt a bit uncomfortable for some reason. And I think it was also because when I grew up, um, my mother would always be like, oh, it's just too much. Um, almost get very uncomfortable with um, abundant spending money. Um, but it's something that I've worked hard for. I deserve it. I want it. And I'm going to buy it with absolute sense of real um, joy and abundance and overflow and gratefulness. Uh, it's this beautiful shirling jacket. Hi, everyone. It's got all this shirling on the outside and this leather. Sorry, shirling on the inside and the leather on the outside. It's really gorgeous. So today I just wanted to, I put up a post yesterday about talking about the motherhood wound and how it relates to money. I'm going to wait to talk about it more next week on a deeper level, but I am going to give you one uh, call to action sort of invitation for you to start to process, hey Rebecca, hey Kylie, um, more deeply emotions around this theme of tolerance. I can actually feel as I'm speaking, my energy is still like a little bit sensitive. That's how big, hey Isabel, that's how big, hey Tiffany, Isabel, Gabrielle, that's how big this transition has been for me. Like a death, <laughs> death and rebirth. Um, so I'm feeling still a bit sensitive. I can feel it in my frequency still, a little bit wobbly. Hey Isabel, gorgeous. So I released a few, some energy, something happened quite abusive to me on the weekend with someone in my life, actually my own mother, I'll be honest about it. So I will be talking about this because I have a lot of experience with the motherhood wound and money. It's also aligned with patriarchy, uh, sisterhood, jealousy, um, competition, and I've never been really like that. Um, what pisses me off or gets me upset is deceit, backstabbing, jealousy, and that kind of stuff, which is something that I've had a lot in my life, um, unfortunately, growing up. And I know that it's a core wound that I've had to really work on and something happened on the weekend and I was resting and I was recovering because on Saturday or Sunday I woke up, I can't remember which day it was now, and my head was just like throbbing. And the day before I was fine, I went hiking, I felt great. And um, I know it's this new level of light and energy that's come in and we're integrating, we're having to release the poisonous stuff, right? The toxicity. And so I'm going back to tolerance, like tolerance, like where we are so conditioned to tolerate behavior that is definitely not loving and definitely not nourishing and nurturing and yummy and respectful. It's like embedded, especially when we've had abuse in our childhood, when we've been traumatized and like the neural pathways and the brain changes and it becomes sort of the way in which we live. And you know, I've got a pretty fucking great life. I've got a healthy, beautiful marriage. I've got a beautiful seven year old daughter. I've got a lot of great, beautiful people around me. However, I have struggled deeply with this relationship with my, with my mother and I've done everything I can to be patient, to be loving, to be tolerant, to be forgiving. And I've come to realize that some people who may have mental health issues um, and a lot of problems, they never change and they can be lying, ruthless. Like I remember looking at certain people in my life thinking when I was a child, like, who are these people? Like I just couldn't process the way they would think and the way that they were. I just, I found it quite shocking anyway. So, um, 
I've come to realize that I didn't even realize how tolerant I was being. And I've decided to give myself permission to be incredible, incredibly um, mindful um, and like almost like a warrior queen around what I will and won't stand for. I will no longer subject myself to unloving, harmful, toxic behaviors. I no longer have to fix other people's suffering. That's ego anyway, it's not my job. It's none of our jobs, even as healers and mystics, soul empaths, visionaries, it's just not. And I decided to close the door on that relationship at this time, unless that person gets some really deep support, but those sorts of people tend to not want to do that. So I have released it and um, there's a few other tendrils of other things there for me and I have released that as well and it feels really, really good and I don't think that I will ever be the same because I am not the same. So my invitation to you is to look at where you have allowed in patterns from childhood of the way we, you know, when we cope because we go into coping mechanisms from fight, you know, your fight flight response kicks in and you go into coping with the situation and we adjust ourselves to kind of like fit in and survive. And I'd just like you to spend some time if you feel called to, to really think about, you know, looking at your relationships, looking at what you've created in your life celebrating the good and just gently looking and lovingly and curiously, curiously, I couldn't get it out, looking at, you know, where maybe, you know, you're too tolerant. I think they like to say that tolerance is a virtue. I think we can be, it can borderline like anything into, apart from love, I suppose, into toxicity. Uh, and I think it's so important that we all take responsibility, like where we perpetuate it, where we allow it, um, in a really beautiful, loving, gentle way so that we can begin to illuminate, liberate, free ourselves from things that are no longer serving us. So I'm constantly working on myself and constantly evolving. And for any of you who really know me, you know that that's, that's my modus operandi. That's how I want to live. I want to always be expanding taking responsibility, growing, and also being incredibly loving uh, of ourselves, right? So often we'll give love to others and we're not as loving um, as we need to be to and with ourselves. So can you guys all hear what I'm saying? So I invite you to be respectful to others, but also loving of yourself and to ask yourself, where do I need to have higher standards? what sort of karmic childhood wounding do I need to release to invoke my next level? Okay, guys, I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to have so much fun. I cannot wait to get this jacket. Jacket, jacket. <laughs> I cannot wait to get this jacket. I'm going to go and have some fun. The shops are opening up here, so I'm just going to do some sort of joyous, ritual, frivolous, beauty, divine stuff. I want to go and do that for myself. I've just set up my new office today. We were renovating another part of our house. Um, yes, we can always do a better job. Thank you, I think. Yes, yes, yes. It is, yeah, updated, pro absolutely outdated program. And it's sort of like when you have those changes and you're like, how did I even perpetuate or allow that? Like, I'm like, who was that person? Um, but of course you want to have a loving divine relationship with people in your life, you know, especially your family. Um, I was speaking to a divine friend of mine. She said, you, you know, you've got your family of origin and your family of creation. Um, so I have a beautiful family of creation. Okay, divas, have a beautiful divine holy day. We've got our um, three-day intensive online business intensive happening next week. So you'll be getting an email about that. I'll put up a few more posts over the next few days, but I can't wait. It's going to be really deep and juicy. I'm going to be doing beautiful goddess invocations on every single day um, to really ground in that work. And we're going to have a lot of fun and it's going to be yummy and juicy and really transformative. So I can't wait to see you there. Okay, bye.